Welcome, woman. Welcome to Sweeter Than Honey. Will you pray with me? Lord our God, you are our help and our comfort. We look to you and to your promises. Grant that we may remain full of courage, also in our personal concerns, so that we do not complain like fretful children, but cheerfully wait for your great victory on earth. May we become your people. Grant your spirit to your people, not only to a few, but eventually to many. Lord our God, we pray that your will may be done on earth among the nations. May your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's words for today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 14 through 27. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 14 through 27. We'll be reading from the NRSV. The, you can find the scriptural passage in our video description below. Carefully follow along and hear the word of the Lord. When they came to the crowd, a man came to him, knelt before him, and said, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he has epilepsy and suffers terribly. He often falls into the fire and often into the water. And I brought him to the disciples, but they could not cure him. Jesus answered, You faithless and perverse generation, how much longer must I be with you? How much longer must I put up with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him. And the boy was cured from that moment. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? He said to them, Because of your little faith. For truly I tell you, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. As they were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is going to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him, and on the third day he will be raised. And they were greatly distressed. When they reached Capernaum, the collectors of the te temple tax came to Peter and said, Does your teacher not pay the temple tax? He said, Yes, he does. And when he came home, Jesus spoke of it first, asking, What do you think, Simon? From whom do kings of the earth take toll or take toll or tribute? From their children or from others? When Peter said, From others, Jesus said to him, Then the children are free. However, so that we do not give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook. Take the fish that comes up, and when you open his mouth, you will find a coin. Take that and give it to them for you and me. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You know, today is about faith and growth. It's about continuing to grow in Christ. And what we have, Jesus um, comes and sees um, from the transfiguration in the mountain. And Jesus comes down and sees that the disciples, uh, again, lacked faith. Um, disciples could not heal because of, the lack, of their lack of faith. And so... Jesus says, you know, why do you, why are you stagnant? You should continue to grow. You know, he says, how long must I be with you so that you may grow? And so Jesus is pointing out a, a problem, not just for disciples, for all, for all of us, that you and I, we should not be stagnant, you know, even for a little bit, little by little every day, we should be growing, we should be growing closer to God, and we should be growing in our faith. And so this, today's passage kind of challenges us that, in that way. And Jesus says, uh, says, you know, something about our faith. You know, our faith gives helps us helps us see miracles. And he says, if you have a faith the size of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. And uh, you know, this is a cute, funny, cute story. Uh, not cute, but I guess a story that I heard growing up about this was um, uh, there was a story about this passage with the size faith the size of a mustard seed and able to move mountains. And I heard um, there was a man who had to travel across the. On, over a mountain every day and he prayed earnestly asking for God to move the mountain and he actually believed that God would do so and what happened was um, there was a decree from uh, the, the local area and county that they decided to uh, build a tunnel through the mountain right um, and so what happened was he didn't have to travel over the mountain anymore but he could just freely kind of go through the mountain and so um, the story was like you know uh with the size, faith the size of mustard seed, you can move the mountain. Whether what it what it looks like to move the mountain might be different in all situations, but you know that's what Jesus is saying. You know, when you have faith and you continue to go, you will experience what this faith can do for you. You will experience the kind of things that the faith will be able to instill and to be able to kind of 
be able to help you. So um, that's what we see, and that's what um, we're called to do. And two things after, in terms of this faith, um, Jesus says, you know, he's going to die on the cross and he'll be resurrected. But, and again, Jesus is saying, for such a faith, even for such a faithless generation, he loves them and he will die for them and will rise for them again. And so we see the love of Jesus and uh, we see that Jesus is continuing to um, kind of make his way, you know, to the moment where he will be crucified. And this uh, and the last thing here in the passage was about paying taxes to the uh, temple tax people. Um, and that this tax was real. And sometimes people would lose their homes because they couldn't pay this temple tax if you're Jewish. Um, but Jesus anyways um, says a couple things here that he is the son of God, right? And that he is... Um, you know, he's bigger than the temple itself, and yet he pays a tax to not cause any problems before he will be crucified. So what we see is, even for this kind of generation, for these people, um, for these people who misunderstood, misunderstands what faith is, what church is, what the temple is, you know, he's still willing to die for them. And, and because of that, you know, we're, we're able to... Um, continue to grow in our faith. We're able to for Jesus' persistence in the life of ours and our lives and his persistence in our continual growth in faith, we can we should be able to grow and not be stagnant. So I pray that, you know, we as EMS would continue to grow and with our faith the size of mustard seed, may we make a change in this world. Let's pray. God continue to instill his faith in us, continue to help our faith to grow, and may we continue to see your love. We thank you for this time. We thank you for this message. Um, I mean, we thank you for dying us for us on the cross. We love and thank you. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.